uh, for Miguel tonight. To yeah, Gonzo was great. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you could expect much more out of him, uh, you know, coming off the DL and, and against a lineup like this to be able to come back. He was sharp, um, you know, breaking stuff and just, you know, getting enough of the plate to, to get guys swinging. But, um, you know, you didn't know really what to expect, but I think this is, um, you know, pretty indicative of how he pitches. You know, he, he, he pitches the contact, um, moves it around the plate. I, I thought just his poise and everything was uh, outstanding. Has the cutter made a big difference for him, just moving in on guys? Yeah, to be able, especially with lefties, you know, you can run it in there with his cutter. He's, he's got a great change to kind of, uh, you know, faded away, and I, I think that's uh, been big for him. Uh, you know, especially with these American League lineups. Um, you know, he's seen them for a while, and to be able to get it under, uh, you know, a lefty's hands has been great. Nate's in there every night, I think. So, uh, you know, he always just seems to have those tough matchups, and uh, you know, kind of the game in the balance, and he's. He's been uh, outstanding for us. I, I think you know, anytime you look at a, at a tough situation, he's the guy. Whether it's a lefty, righty, uh, you know, he seems to be the guy to, to try and uh, bridge that gap, especially even in the seventh. He's got <clears throat> 97, 98 fastball, but he seemed, he's able to get him on other stuff too, though. It's not just always. Yeah, I, I think guys. once he uh, you know developed that changeup. That's been the biggest thing. You can get guys off of uh, the fastball. Guys can hit fastballs in big leagues, and, and I think you can locate it. But once you start adding uh, the slider and that changeup, uh, it, it really just changes the the at bat for guys. You can't just sit there and, and sit on a fastball. Kevin, it was uh, those two plays. I didn't get the one in the ninth. But I mean, what? How much development has he made in that aspect? I, well, really, his range is is expanded, and you know you're starting to understand hitters, and you're seeing hitters, and you know I think that's part of his development. But um, you know his recall of seeing guys over and over again, and and how guys are pitching, where he's playing, he understands that a little bit better as he goes around the league. So um, you know you're you're just starting to see a guy improve with the knowledge that he's getting, and and it's not necessarily the numbers knowledge. It's the baseball knowledge. His timing's better. It's just that baseball clock that he's starting to understand. Were you able to look at the foul ball home run in the ninth from the dugout? Um, I, I mean, it looked foul off the bat. I mean, from us in the dugout, it looked. I thought I saw it. You know, pass in front. Um, you know, you, you get a little bit of an indication when Frazier is. You know, he, he he thought it was foul. Uh, Omar thought it was foul. So you're, you're starting to see the guys that are on the field, and they have a little better vantage point of, of how that ball travels. Um, but I was going to have them check. You know, once they're doing it, you're going to have them check it. And then even on our video, we, we felt it was foul, too. Robin Bell Robinson, 34 saves now. Pretty good chance 40 or more when it's all said and done. How would you characterize this season? Yeah, he, I mean, even lately, you know, there's there's been some, some rocky ones. He'll admit that. But, you know, anytime you get up in that that number, uh, you know, 40 is, a, 40 is a special number for closers, and, you know, he's, he's been able to do it. And it might not be necessarily his best stuff, but, you know, he's getting it done. And I think that's, that's just the, the heart he has of being able to go out there and it might not be his best stuff, but he gets it done.